we got uh, Elsa bringing us rain. But this is the road out of the Iron Horse. Sherry's going to brave the weather. And uh, yeah, after much careful consideration, the other choice was to lay in bed, watch daytime TV, and snack all day. Well, you know, we just got to take it easy and respect the wet. Fontana Dam and then uh, the Cherahola. And that is the plan. See you first. So far, the road conditions haven't been too bad. Some kind of moist spots under the trees, but uh, nothing slippery. approach to the Fontana Dam. Rosanna, 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 Fontana. So what do you think of the Rosanna, Rosanna, Fontana? I think it's fantastic. Beautiful. Amazing. It's very beautiful. But the real dam's over there, so this is just oh, a lake, yeah. This. Those, are the, those are the spillways. I'm the one that's afraid of heights, not you. Damn side of the Fontana. Pretty impressive, huh? I don't know how it looks on on uh, camera, but. Pretty impressive from up here. There's the power station. And all this to feed that little river. Yep. This is a great view of the dam.
United 129 below the Dragon. You, though this road isn't like a killer twister road like the dragon this is a more gentle road just beautiful scenery see a bear up on one. You're so funny, man. It's, uh, when they built this, when they built this road, they inadvertently cut off, um, they inadvertently cut off the, uh, habitat and migration of the, of the, uh, flying squirrels. They couldn't get across the road because they, they do it in the trees. Yeah. So whatever. No, that's a sugar baby. No real flying squirrels. They jump from tree to tree to tree. They couldn't close the gap. And their migration was interrupted. So they built those, they built those, um, those poles so they could jump across. Of course. Yeah. 